Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you again for coming together with me on another I Care podcast. The Lord our God is faithful. He is gracious. He is good. And he is kind. There is no other God like our God. He is the holy and he is the true and he is the living God. And it's impossible for him to lie. Our God cares about you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Well, today I just want to open up with uh, sharing with you a little bit about, about wisdom. And I want you to go with me to the Proverbs, the fourth chapter of Proverbs. And I just want to point out some things here. I want to give you some practical nuggets uh, for your life. What do you mean by practical? Things that you can actually apply to your life is what I'm talking about. Because many times uh, we get teaching that we are not able to apply or have not really understood how to apply. But there are some practical things that we need to know. Amen. And so uh, there's a spiritual part of everything, but there's also a practical side of everything that we do. In the scriptures, we see where Jesus was uh, <clears throat> at the tomb of Lazarus. And so he said, told them, he told the ones that, that, that were gathered, they said, roll away the stone. So that was their practical part. And then he called forth Lazarus out of the tomb. Amen. So here in Proverbs, the fourth chapter of Proverbs, I'm going to read this to you just for your hearing sake today. And then I'm going to share some nuggets out of these, each one of these uh, passages for you. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, listen to this, and live. Get wisdom and get understanding. Understand it, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. The sixth verse says this, Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Listen, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. So we see a very powerful passage of scripture that the, the, that the word of God has in it. And this, again, it's in Proverbs, the fourth chapter. And it gives us some nuggets. It gives us some wonderful uh, nuggets for life. And so I just want to share a few of these things with you that I have uh, basically learned and I have followed in my life. And I do everything I can to follow these in my life. And so there's 10 things I want to give you. I'm not going to give you all 10 today, but I want to give you a few of them to start with. And so if you see here, the scripture talks about the fact that, number one, the key is forget not my law. Don't forget the words of God. Don't forget the commandments of God. Don't forget what God has put out for us to live by. Don't ever forget what God teaches us because it's very important that we live by the law of God because if we live by the law of God, then we're honoring God. And guess what? The principles, the word of God will work in our lives to a greater degree because we honor God. His law. What is the law? That which God has commanded. God does not give us a book of, 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 ch of choices. He does not give us a book of suggestions. God tells us what to do. And I want you to understand that very clearly because many times we think God is there to do what we want or to serve us. He does that, but that's not the primary way that this goes. We as the children of God are to hear his voice, listen to his commands, and do what he instructs us to do. Then secondly, uh, because we, we want to have long life, don't we? Said, we want to have long life, don't we? So I want to also say this. You keep the commandments of God in your heart, as the scripture teaches. You keep it where? In your heart. The love of God, the word of God is not intended just for your head. It's intended for it to get into your heart. Because if you get it in your heart, it's a proof that you love God. And it's a proof that you love his word. What gets in your heart is a very difficult thing to let go. Amen. Once you get that thing in your heart, that thing will begin to speak to you. And whatever's in your heart, it gives you, watch this, the desire to do it, the desire to have it, the desire to walk in it. Because again, the loving God, the living God is for you, but he wants you to learn to have wisdom, get understanding, forsake it not. I care.